Hello my dear friends, welcome back for my session on SOLIDWORKS in 22 days. We are in day 4. Okay, in day 4 we will see about the linear pattern, circular pattern, sketch driven pattern, mirror, fillet, chamfer. Okay, now uh, this is going to be a exercise exercise for linear linear pattern okay so yesterday we saw about this one you know loft with the shell let me close this one or I'll save it as uh, exercise number 8 exercise number 8 let me delete all those things ok linear pattern for linear pattern first let me draw a rectangular plate let me draw a rectangular plate maybe whose uh, size is uh, 120 by maybe 75 ok so I will be boss extruding I will be extruding it to 10 mm thickness uh, the feature I will be making so the extruded boss is the feature I will be using now I want to make a rectangular plate of uh, size 120 by 75 thickness is 10 for the thickness I have to use this feature boss extrude feature command so 10 by default it is set at 10 let me change a different color this is a button for changing the color ok so that's it let us see the top view now slowly I will be introducing a Loft, uh, cut loft, uh, cut boss also. Okay. What is it? Extruded cut. Extruded cut. So far we have seen uh, adding material. C cut means removing material. So extruded cut. Okay. Now here on this plane uh, let us see I uh, will be drawing maybe a hexagonal cut hexagon first of all I am drawing ok just I want to define it is under defined you know so this should be horizontal this should be horizontal let me close this one some noise is coming so let this be horizontal and it is uh, 10 mm away horizontally 5 mm above vertically the side is only 5 mm ok now everything is black fully defined let me check uh, what is the distance between these two that is the diagonal distance diagonal distance. this is the enquiry command I already told you 10 mm so this distance is 10 mm ok so let me use directly I am in the sketch I am in the sketch ok let me exiting sketch I can go for cut but directly I will be using the extruded cut now again I repeat I made one rectangular slab of size 120-75-10 in that I have drawn a hexagon I want to make a hexagonal hole that is my idea so hexagonal hole is through all now I will be introducing through all through all means the entire 10 mm it will make a cut I will show it now so now it is a through hole 
now you see the options available instead of 10 now if you use a by blind and uh, 10 means it is a thickness the thickness is 10 you know instead of 10 if I use 5 now it becomes blind a blind hole some some material stock will be there so this will be clearly visible in the hidden edges now you see this is the top view if you see the front view you see the cut is made up to this there is no cut here because the depth of cut is only 5 mm but the thickness of this plate is 10 mm okay now here itself you see I'll be doing some editor uh, I'll be editing again use through all if it is a through cut use through all always whenever we are using a cut you see it is through all so you can see the hole you can see the hole okay now let me let us see about the linear pattern let us see about the linear pattern the linear pattern is something similar to a rectangular array rectangular array okay along this direction longitudinal direction along this vertical direction I can use make and make number of arrays it is something like a number of rows and columns okay so for that what I can do is uh, the here see carefully here you have these many commands linear pattern circular pattern mirror uh, curve, curve driven pattern sketch driven patterns there are many but I will be touching upon linear circular sketch driven after that mirror okay so with that I will be winding up for the today's session uh, let us say linear pattern so what is the direction along this direction along this direction along this direction I'll, I want this particular hexagonal cut maybe three times four times according to my wish okay for that you see carefully I have to sell I'll be selecting this edge nearer to this corner again the idea is if I choose this edge the what is the length of this edge 120 mm nearer to this end you know if I select this will be the origin right side is the direction instead if I choose here right point is the origin left side is the direction okay so that is the idea now you see that now we, how the the direction is marked here now you see that direction mark instead let me deselect again instead of se selecting that side if I select this side you see the arrow mark so selection of the edge and point of selection of that edge is also important so I will be selecting this way so direction defined direction to right now I am not using ok so number of instances 4 already the, the total length is 10 mm a 10 mm gap uh, let me maintain or even 15 mm let me maintain let me maintain 15 mm this side so 15 mm is the spacing four occasions four times four in, I need four instances what features you need to do that for that you have to choose this one you said I, I selected the cut extrude now you see along this direction after selecting this cut extrude there are four instances number of instances and the gap between the adjacent uh, things are 15 mm or I will make it 20 let it be now you see what happens so 20 mm is still wider gap you will get ok shall I press shall I put ok now now you see so if we have this kind of requirement use linear pattern use linear pattern ok now again I go for editing let me choose this direction also okay so this direction also direction 2 direction 2 this direction uh, the spacing this time let it be 15 or even 10 
number of instances 2 now we see that the same linear pattern uh, there are horizontally 4 instances gap between these two is 20 mm everything is visible here right vertically 2 instances the gap is 10 mm so this is about the linear pattern ok you got it right let me save this as xs8 right so this xs8 file now linear pattern is over now let us see about the circular pattern let us see about the circular pattern for circular pattern let me draw a cylindrical boss now on that only I think uh, we can get a circular pattern ok so let me draw a circle and uh, let me extrude that to a, maybe of height 20 mm ok on top of it on top of it mm, ok let me draw an elliptical bus let me draw elliptical bus ok uh, this time instead of going for cutting I will be adding boss ok uh, maybe just 5 mm just 5 mm so let me do the circular arrangement for circular arrangement only I got the cylindrical piece because I need a center of uh, ax cent axis of rotation ok for the circular pattern it is better switch on temporary axis switch on temporary axis switch on temporary axis I will sh show you how under view under hide and show now switch on this temporary axis now you see axis, temporary axis for the axis you will get the axis only for the cylindrical conical spherical faces uh, hemispherical faces objects only not for this kind of a uh, uh, hexagonal prism or rectangular slab or a square slab not on the prismatic structures not on the pyramidal structures you will have the uh, axis and axis of revolution axis temporary axis only for the cylindrical and conical parts only portions only features only ok this is very important for the subtler pattern ok so center of the axis is, is here now you go for subtler pattern now pattern axis let me choose this one 360 degree how many instances maybe 7 instances let us say equal spacing feature let me select this feature so now you see in 360 degree there are seven objects placed at equal distance equal e equally spaced equally spaced is this clear so again i if you edit you will see all these things F center i chose this one object i chose this object number of instances seven full 360 degree equal spacing so after making it uh, you can switch off the temporary axis of course show and hide temporary axis. you can hide this one ok so here the circular pattern is also over now let us see about the sketch driven pattern sketch driven pattern uh, you should have sketch you should have a separate sketch with the points with points for the sketch treatment you should have sketch with points for that ok I will use this space 
I'll use this space. I said, you know, you need a sketch, you know. So select this plane as the reference or data and plane. Go for sketch. Okay. So normal to the plane. This is the the you have to draw points, you know. You have to mark points. Uh, but before points, you should have an object, of course, right? Mm, I think uh, this object itself can be used. Cut textured one also can be used. Let let us try. Let us try. Point. Put points at random place, or you can give dimension also. So I put one, two, three, four, five, six points. Exit. Okay. Now go for sketch driven pattern. Uh, what it asks? Reference sketch. The reference sketch is the sketch file my reference. Feature and faces. The cut textured is my feature. Then uh, centroid. The point uh, with, through that point, this, uh, the the center of the hexagon is the centroid. Okay, that will be matched with the sketch points. You see the points. If the point is at the center of the hexagon, you know, so that is this is the sketch driven pattern. So this will be something like a matrix. Uh, it is a rectangular array uh, in AutoCAD terms. It is a polar array. Okay, radially. Will be it will be placed here uh, any irregular or uh, according to your own uh, uh, thing the object can be placed so, okay so we have seen linear pattern circular pattern sketch driven pattern then mirror let us see we'll try we'll try the entire thing should be mirror. Suppose the entire thing should be mirror on this side also. Let us see. Let us see. Sometime it will come. Sometime, sometime it may. It won't come. Better. I'll select all. I'll select all. Go for mirror. So all the features selected. The mirror. You need a mirror plane. I am choosing this mirror plane. Now you see that. Very simple. I got the mirror. So mirror one. Very simple. Right. So based on the requirement, based on your uh, problem given to you, you can define. Uh, you can choose the command that you require. Okay. My advice is. Yeah. Prob. If suppose if if it, if suppose if your problem is given to you, try to. Get this. Try to get the solution. Okay, either you go by shortest route or take a longest path. The aim is solve the problem. Okay, once you solved it, don't stop with that. Check for the optimization. Is there a an alternate alternate way, alternate route to get the solution for the same problem? Okay, if you go, if you think that way, and if you act based on that way, then only you can you can learn more about this algorithm. Okay, this uh, suggestion or this advice is not only applicable for algorithms. Okay, even for other subjects also. Okay, attain the solution first. Okay, whether it the route is uh, longest route or shortest route. Okay, so actually I am located near Tambram, so from Tambram to Broadway. There may be uh, three or more different ways, different routes. Okay, but the task is I have to starting. I have to start from Tambram. I have to reach Broadway or Paris Corner. After uh, reaching it, suppose uh, if I have to do, go regularly, then I have to think for the optimal route, either the shortest route or fastest route. Okay, something like that. Okay. Uh, so mirror is okay. Now we see the fillet and chamfer. Fillet chamfer is a very simple command. Okay, this is the fillet command. So the total thickness is fine, no? So let us say, my, let me put uh, fillet as four uh, mm. I 
I choose all the four edges. Press OK. Fillet radius is 4 mm. So previously it is sharp. Now you see it is filleted. It is filleted. Okay. So this side, let me go for chamfer. Chamfer, you can spacing 45 degree. Uh, again, 4 mm. 1, 2, or instead of uh, choosing selecting the four edges let me choose the face let us see what happens no, uh, no, uh, not only the four edges are chamfered even the inner things are also chamfered inner edges also inner things also all the cut to extrudes you know patterned linear pattern and uh, sketch tuned pattern objects you know so those are also chamfered. Suppose if you don't want that way, only the outer corner means delete. Go for chamfer. Select only those four edges. So only four edges are chamfered. Okay. Now in today's session we saw about linear pattern circular pattern sketch tuned pattern how to use the mirror then extruded cut also we have seen fillet chamfer we have seen okay so this is sufficient for today's session maybe tomorrow we will solve some machine compounds okay from that you will you will learn more about how to solve the how to uh, create a mission components. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.